The Cadets um, is an interesting example. It's an example of how we work across the country where communities call us and they say we are trying to create a solution for our artists um, that live here and we are trying to do something perhaps um, that will help encourage downtown or Main Street revitalization. Um, perhaps we have a historic building that needs um, a vision and a use. Um, and where those worlds collide um, is really where art space does its work. And in this case, um, we were contacted by um, community leaders um, who had led the efforts around a center for the arts, the, the Fergus Theater Redevelopment. And they um, had joined forces with the folks behind Save the Cadets and were very interested in whether art space could create a solution for um, both the space needs of artists but also for this building itself. Um, this building, the Cadets Lofts, provides um, a home for 10 artist families on the second and third floor, um, a home for the Cadets Gallery um, here on the main floor. We're focused on area artists, um, so we kind of want to pay attention to what's going on locally, but also looking for artists who are um, kind of connecting to some of these larger themes that you would see in, in um, the arts community. Um, and it's not just, I don't think it's just based on uh, skill. I mean, I think there's a lot to be said for um, artists who are like exploring different ideas and different mediums and stuff like that and maybe haven't quite perfected what they're doing. In the current exhibit we have two artists that we're focused on. Uh, one of them is Laura Youngbird, who's a Native American artist from uh, Wapaton. And she just did a new series that is based on this idea of the dress. She kind of looks at these ideas of appropriation and identity and what our clothes kind of say about us or how we try to create an identity through the way we look. I, I've done a lot of the dress series because of some images I had of my grandmother. I don't remember her, but I, I wanted to know more about her and I had all these pictures that I was looking at and she scratched her face out of most of them. So that really made an impression on me and I um, have done a lot of work related, related to that, you know, lost identity and, um, you know, not being okay with who you are. Uh, and of course we, we want to be okay with who we are. The Cadets is a wonderful gallery in Fergus Falls and um, it's just beautiful. I just love the, um, the atmosphere and it's, there's a lot of people, especially in the summer, you know, they have a lot more people that have come from the lakes area. So it seems like it's a very artsy kind of town. So I think it's really, I'm glad that it's here. I'm glad that I was asked to do a show. So. One of the things that we've been able to do is provide um, a really well-maintained and professional exhibition space for the artists that, that live and work in the area. The artists that work here are of an incredible caliber and for them to be able to have a professional space to present their work is um, really important for you know, their developing their career and also connecting with the community. So we're able to kind of give them that that space, but also people are, you know, can come in and inter and learn about the artist. We try to include like bios and and some text with our exhibits, so people can come in and learn a little bit more about the art and who the artist artist is. So we're always kind of offering that opportunity for people to come in and and connect on on a personal level. Art Space is a 501c3 nonprofit real estate developer for the arts. So we um, are an organization with headquarters in the city of Minneapolis, but we're active all around the country. Um, our history began in the late 1970s when the city of Minneapolis established Art Space as an organization to advocate for 
and assist artists in their search for temporary space in the city. Um, between 79 and the mid 80s, that's what we did. In the, in the mid 80s, art space leapt into the world of creating permanent solutions for artists um, and their space needs. And we began creating permanently affordable spaces for individual artists and arts organizations, very much like Cadiz um, Lots, which I'm in right now. It's a nonprofit organization that provides uh, low income housing for artists by taking old buildings like this and refurbishing it into um, lofts for artists. This is the smallest one. I think that they have, um, they have several in St. Paul and Minneapolis, um, throughout the United States actually. And most of them are from older buildings that they've taken and refurbished. Well, they're basically uh, artist lofts that were um, created from an old hotel that uh, was pretty much um, derelict. It was run down. It was uh, about ready to be torn down because uh, because of so much fire damage and um, a lot of the large windows that we have are original windows, and um, which is great for artists to have a lot of light and and the high ceilings and. Um, you know, all that stuff is uh, is pretty much how it was when it was a hotel. They opened this place up again for artists, um, the artist lofts, in 2004, and um, and that's when I moved in. Just uh, I guess it was June of 2004, um, and I was the second person to move in, I think. and so I'm. Not the oldest person in the building, but I'm the oldest resident in the building, I guess, now, currently. The, the Cadets actually is sort of a spin-off of a center for the arts across the street to increase the visual arts component downtown Fergus Falls. This building sat empty for decades. Uh, it was a, a hotel, the Cadets Hotel, which is where the name Cadets comes from. I think it was. I think it was a very grand hotel in its day. It was significantly longer than it is today. It went all the way to the Otter Tail River back in its day. And I think there was a fire that was torn down at some point in time. Um, I think that somebody sent, set the world record for the number of cups of coffee uh, consumed in one sitting um, here in the Cadets Hotel. Uh, but it was a grand place. And uh, right now we're looking. At, right now it is a home for um, low to moderate income artists, and so it is really providing an affordable living and working space um, for the low to moderate income artist population here in town. And I think that's terrific. The thing that makes this a special building for artists is that we have this space that is affordable to live in and create our art in it. There are places here in Fergus Falls where we can show our art but it also makes it possible for us to um, go to other cities, Fargo or the larger cities like Minneapolis, St. Paul, St. Cloud, variety of places to go and show our work and try to make a living on whatever our, our art is. Mine just happens to be, I'm a visual artist working in acrylics. We're a welcoming space. Uh, we're not uptight about, you know, we had, this exhibit is different from, the last exhibit we had was kind of a hands-on exhibit and when the kids would come in for programming, they were encouraged, for, for their educational programming for the Summer Arts Academy, they were encouraged to touch things, play with things. Um, most art galleries, I think people have the perception that it's hands-off, please don't touch but we try and provide an accessible um, experience for every age group, every level. That's one distinction. I think the Cadets Gallery is an asset to the community for the programming we provide, whether it's our exhibitions or through education. I think one of the things that's interesting to me about the Cadets is that while it is, I think, our smallest project in terms of physical size, I think it's had perhaps the most pronounced impact on community um, of anything we've done. I think that that's reflective of um, the building's position on Lincoln Avenue, uh, which is just right in the heart of downtown. 
um, the historic nature of the structure itself, and its proximity to a Center for the Arts, which is just a terrific arts partner. Um, so we're very proud of, of the Fergus Project and the Cadets Hotel. Thank you.